Aries, welcome to Baby Boss Tarot. Guys, we're going to find out who is coming towards you this weekend. What are their intentions and feelings? And then we'll get you a message from the Moonology deck. Alright guys, cannot or will not resonate with each and every one of you. Please do not force it to fit if it is not your story. Okay, so Aries. We are now officially in Mercury Retrograde. That is when all exes decide to make a return. So, let's see what's going on. For Aries, who is Aries possibly dealing with this weekend? Sun in reverse. You're not happy this weekend, Aries. But I feel like you're just going to isolate yourself, become a hermit, reflect on things. Sorry, I'm not taking the planets. Alright, who is Aries dealing with this weekend? The moon. Something that was an illusion. It could be hidden feelings. Um, you know, or someone was hiding their feelings from you. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Leo out here. Get one more. Who could Aries possibly be dealing with this weekend? Although if you're in hermit mode, you won't be dealing with anyone. Okay, you could be a Cancer or a Pisces, which is exactly what the moon is. Cancer and Pisces. That could be who you're dealing with this weekend. Okay, Aries, let's find out the intentions of this water sign. Okay. What are the intentions and feelings from this water sign towards Aries? Remember, it is a general reading. It doesn't have to resonate with you for this weekend. It could be whenever you see the video. Alright, what's this person's intentions and feelings towards Aries? So if it doesn't happen this weekend, that means it wasn't this particular weekend. Okay. Oh, God, so many cards. This person's really in their emotions. Okay. You're definitely dealing with the water sign, I think, this weekend. <coughs> okay. They fear that things are going nowhere. Okay, uh, their intention is to give you a hand. Feeling competitive with you at some point. So this person, whoever it is, doesn't have to be a water sign, it could be whoever. It could be someone who's just really in their emotions right now. This person, they feel like they're uh, in competition with you at some point. So you dealt with this person before. It doesn't have to be... This doesn't have to be a love story. This could be family or friends, you know, your children, co-workers, whatever it is. Okay. In my case, I've got a hell of a lot of water sign family members. My own son is a Pisces, so there you go. Okay, somebody wants to share joy and happiness. Uh, inevitably attracted to you. Neutral feelings. Recalling good memories with you. Someone's feeling stuck in this situation. That's actually in the wrong deck. That's not supposed to be in that deck. Never mind. Okay. Somebody highly estimates you. They feel potential with you. They want to bond with you. And to treat you right. Oh, wow, Aries. You've got someone who is coming in. Wow. This person is... This person is very loving and caring. They're quite emotional. It's the sort of thing Aries need at the moment. Okay. Aries, let's get some advice for what you need for whoever this is going to afford you. Okay. What's the advice for Aries, please? I'm only going to take the ones that flip out. Thank you. Okay, advice for Aries. Okay, you have the blue moon. So, believe in the impossible, Aries. At the moment, you've been feeling like nothing is going your way. You feel like you've been shit on, spat on, kicked in the fucking nuts, kicked in the head, wherever. Uh, believe in the impossible, Aries. Whatever is coming up for you, um, it's a plan. It's supposed to be in divine timing, okay? Alright, let's get you a bit of tarot. Okay, this person coming in for Aries. How will Aries know who they are? Two of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This is a soulmate coming in. Any more? Uh, who, how would Aries know who this person is? This person sees you as a soulmate. Or oh, you see them as a soulmate. You're, you're, looks like you're definitely dealing with a, a water sign. A chariot, Cancer, energy. Someone could travel to come and see you. Remember, it's just energy. Doesn't mean it's that particular sign, okay, guys? But you do have two Cancer cards out here. The Cancer card came out in... Um, you know, the Zodiac Oracle. Clarify the chariot, please. Clarify the chariot. This person um, does drive... Oh, they're coming in with an apology, whoever this is. No more on this page. They may come in with a possible gift as well. They could have been immature. The world, the five of swords, and the four of pentacles. 
It's like they want to apologise for closing out of the cycle with you, for causing conflict and strife in your life, you know, drama, possibly gossip, this person wanted to win at all costs, and then they, they held back from you. It's almost like this person kind of ditched you in a hurry sort of thing, and they're coming in to apologise, but this is your soulmate. Okay, the signs you've got, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and any fixed sign. Oh, they just said, um, check the bottom of the de death card. This person wants to have, you two have had an ending, and now they want a new beginning. Yes, Six of Swords, they want to move on calmly with you. They are fearing rejection on your side. Okay, Aries. <clears throat> if Aries knows this person, how does Aries feel about this person? If Aries knows this person, how do they feel? Knight of Cups. So you have emotions towards this person. What are these that come out? You can see them. I'm not actually picking them out. They're the ones that put those in the deck. Okay, how do you feel towards them? Okay, you've got the Emperor, the Star, the High Priestess, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. Okay, Aries, so you feel... How you feel about this particular person? You do have a lot of emotions for him, okay? You may try to, like, talk things out with this person, trying to get an emotional response from this person, okay? You want them to boss the fuck up with the Emperor being out here. This is your energy, this is you. You want them to boss up, okay? And with the star here, you want to heal the situation. They are your wish fulfillment. Could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be could be an Aries you're dealing with. You've got a high priestess out here. Use your intuition though, Aries, okay? You are highly intuitive. Um, and what they're telling you is this person could be hiding their emotions. So I'm saying you want this person to open up, show their emotional side, not just the physical and logical side of things. You want them to open up, okay? You want them to be a bit vulnerable and they're boring you to death because they're not doing it. Queen of Wands, you feel like they're just all about the passion, all about... Um, themselves a little bit in their ego Leo energy here with the Queen of Wands okay and with the Three of Wands you're waiting are you waiting on them Aries or are you just waiting waiting for an absolution that will never come I know that's a phrase from Titanic what is the High Priestess please what is the High Priestess King of Cups yeah, you want them to open up. You want them to express how they're actually feeling. You want them to get emotional. But what you're getting out of them is the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. They're defensive. They're not being vulnerable. They're being actually quite cold-hearted towards you, Aries. I don't know how you're going to deal with this one. Oh, I've just heard your cut-off game is a lot stronger than theirs. A cross-watch with Aries. If you're being like this towards an Aries, the full bottom of the deck, when it take a leap of faith, Aquarius, Aries energy there. Yeah, Aries, I did hear your cut-off game is a lot stronger than theirs. How does this person actually feel about Aries? How does this person currently feel about Aries? We'll take clippers. Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay, they don't want the fighting, the arguments. Okay, they feel like the passion's probably going out of this. Three of Cups, they either want a celebration or there is a third party involved. We will clarify this, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. But the Knight of Swords, either trying to rush rush towards you or they're rushing because they're angry and they're pissed off. We will find out, but they want to come out of this conflict with you. They kind of want to have a celebration and they want to rush things, you know, get things going again. But we'll clarify, what is the Three of Cups, please? The tower. Scorpio, um, Aries energy there. I had an aha moment. What is the tower? High Priestess in the reverse. Okay, this person's dishonest. Okay. They want to tell you something, okay? They're gonna tell you. Whatever it is that they have kept inside, it doesn't have to be that they were dishonest, but when I see cards like this in the reverse, it's dishonesty, it's disloyalty. And what they're going to come out with, the way to get you back, is to actually be vulnerable with you. So it looks like they want to be vulnerable. They want to tell you. All the other cards that fell here. Six of, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this with you. Three of Wands. Yeah. 
they're waiting for their ships to come in, seven of wands. They see that you're <laughs> actually guarded against them. Aries, if this person is a someone who plays mind games, they're a bit manipulative, you're throwing their energy right back at them. Okay? This feels like, like the empath narcissist paradigm. Whatever energy that they're projecting onto you, you are quite literally throwing it back. Straight on them, okay? And what you're doing is, what they did before is you wanted them to boss up, but they're in this energy of Queen of Swords. You know, being cold-hearted, being a bitch, being a bit stoic, and being very defensive. And what you're doing back to them is, being defensive, then you're being a bitch, and then you're going to boss the fuck up. That's what I have for you, Aries. Right. Let's just see. What would be the outcome for Aries and this person? Justice. The Nine of Cups and Strength. It looks like it, this is going to work itself out because it is a wish fulfillment. Okay, someone does need to get out of their ego a little bit, but someone needs to find the strength and the courage to be vulnerable, to be emotional, and to bring justice to this situation. Okay, it could be a Leo you're dealing with, a Libra you're dealing with, or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It does not have to be, they can have that in their chart. Okay, so this is the outcome for you. And they're just saying get a couple more. For the outcome for Aries, what is the outcome for Aries and this person? One more, please. Okay, one more, and you give me three. Wow. Ugh, Aries, Jesus. The outcome for you. The Tower, again. The Seven of Wands, defensiveness. The Nine of Swords, not sleeping at night, overthinking, anxious, fearing, nervous, energy. And then the wheel, forward movement. Clarify the tower. I know this season's going on a bit. Clarify the tower. Let's hope I get it. The King of Cups. This person is coming in with a love offer, but with the Five of Wands. I've just heard they're coming in dramatically. Clarify the Five of Wands. Whoa, all these cards want to come out. Yes, they're coming in dramatically. Jesus. <laughs> what about the Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles? This person. The reason why you're going to get a tower, this person bringing justice to you. Okay. <laughs> um, just be mindful though, they may suddenly love bomb you out of nowhere to try and fix the situation, whatever it is, because they can't sleep at night. They've, you know, there's been too much guardedness, defensiveness, you know, not wanting to see what the other person's doing or, you know, not wanting to be around anyone else the guard is all the way up but the way this person's coming in just dramatically fast and quick straight to the point the queen of pentacles clarify queen of pentacles it's five of cups because they're sad they're crying over spilt me regretting why are they in regret for ghosting you Cutting you out for turning, you know, turning you away. Judgment. But they want a second chance. Judgment came out. The third party in the situation I'm feeling is that it was divine, um, divine intervention. If this was like a love situation, if you were like dating someone, the divine actually spoke and said, "Right, split these two up for now. Something's not quite right. There is an imbalance." And that is the other person's vulnerability. They weren't being vulnerable. So, the universe, the angels, the spirit guides, the ancestors, they split this apart. Because it needs time. Okay, somebody needs time to actually learn how to be vulnerable. This could even be you, Aries. Might, you're, you might not be being vulnerable to the person that you were dealing with. Okay, you can, you know, flip and switch it the way you want, cross watches. But because I'm doing an Aries read, Aries, it's coming out that you're trying to get someone else to be vulnerable. And what they've done is they've ghosted you, they've run off. They've left you out in the dust. And unfortunately, cross watcher for you, Aries cut off game is a hell of a lot stronger than yours. This and Aries like that, you're fucking done. 
Alright. And Ares will end up ghosting you for good. Walking away from you. Alright, anyways, Ares, that was your reading, guys. Okay. I'll see you on the flip-flop later.